We end this edition of Channel 8 News with a feature on New Amsterdam Town Councillor Ms. Carol Trim Baggett. Councillor Carol Trim Baggett has been shaking up the New Amsterdam Mayor and Town Council since she has been sworn into the council in July of 2023. The 69 year old woman resides in Vryman Serving, New Amsterdam. She is a mother, grandmother, and an avid humanitarian. Channel 8 News got to sit down and have a chat with Ms. Trim, and she told us about her childhood. A little girl. My dad uh, was part of the fraternity here of um, lawyers. So he basically lived in New Amsterdam. I was between him and my grandparents in Rosal Town. Um, I went to Chandi Singh High School. All of my schooling and all of my grounding in terms of my the start of my education was done in Burbies. Uh, and I can say that proudly because when I started to work, no, my first job was at the hospital, Georgetown Hospital, as a switchboard operator at that time. I um, was into athletics at that time. I was champion girl at that time, 30 to 70. You can't tell now because I've gained so much weight. She worked in Georgetown for a few years prior to coming back to Burbies and subsequently migrating to North America. I've spent 35 years in the U.S. Um, over that period, I've had three jobs. I work at a residential program as a supervisor for a mental health facility. And then I, after that, I moved on to working for the New York State Senator. Um, and then I moved into doing what I currently set up in Georgia as the CEO for that company. I have homes for people with disability. Um, and I'm contracted by the state of Georgia to provide those services. Her daughter, who is a registered nurse, now manages the home for persons with disability. Ms. Trim told this reporter why she contested for the local government elections. I had a, um, an issue with the city council. I was pushed into this area because I feel with my background that I can lend myself to the community to ensure that everybody is served. Everyone is served in this song. The areas that she would like to see some improvement include I find that New Amsterdam is seen from my perspective to be stagnant in terms of services. Um, when you look at other places, let for instance Georgia, you can see the growth in terms of um, organizations and, and how respected citizens are treated. But in Barbies, I find, I, I find that that was lacking. As a councillor, she will work towards alleviating the issues at the council. I would like to see a strategic plan. Uh, there is no plan. When you go up there, you are debating the same issues over and over. But there is no direct plan on how we are going to execute and meet the needs of the people of the town. So... Um, that I would start there. Be, right now, this town council is owed over $50 million in back taxes. I know that people are not, that the people in the community are probably are not struggling, but there should be a structure on how you bring people in and have them pay. You know, if they can pay something every month and bring those books up to these. Like on a payment plan. Because you do have like the elderly folks who probably don't have $12,000 one time. If, if the human resource is working and, and it should be working well, then you call people in. You don't have to put their names out there. You meet with them, see what their needs are. How could we help to relieve you? What is owed? Could you give us $500 every month for the rest of the year? Or, you know, so that, so that there is a plan on how you're picking it up. This is her message to residents of New Amsterdam. I would encourage the young people to in your neighborhoods to look at some of the things that you think need improvement. Uh, me as a counselor and others, meet us and talk to us about some of the issues that you think needs to be um, rectified in, within the township and how you can lend your voice as a young person, your ideas, so that we who are sitting there can negotiate these issues for you. And even the elderly, you know, um, that we can be the voices to them. Even though Councillor Trim is retired, she continues to advocate for humanitarian causes.
She sits on the PPPC side of the House as one of their six councillors elected to serve in the municipality. Councillor Trim is responsible for Constituency Tree, which includes Vryman Zerving, Four to One Scheme, the Mayor Anton Council Scheme, and a portion of Mount Sinai. Narima Ali, Channel 8 News.